Sports fans have never had so many options, opportunities, places, and events to spend their time and money. This dilemma has affected the sports industry more in this past decade than ever before. The Elusive Fan by Irving Ryan, Philip Kotler, and Ben Shields is an informative look at the sports industry as a whole. The authors discuss the current problems that many sports businesses encounter today and how to fix them. The authors are all experts in the field of sports marketing. They are professors at Northwestern University and the Kellogg School of Management. They wrote this book to explain the current problems in sports and how they feel they can make sports successful. The Elusive Fan is a great look at the ever-changing world of sports and the huge industry behind it. Through its creative writing and interesting stories, the book exceeded all of my expectations. This book is an informative collection and somewhat of a position paper. It combines research, author's opinions, factual articles, and interesting stories to make a one-of-a-kind experience for the reader. The authors are experts when it comes to sports marketing, and this topic of attracting fans is their forte. They approach this book as experts giving advice to the reader. They state a problem, then go through step-by-step -step the best way to alleviate it. The main topic discussed in the book is the problem of sports competing for a very small amount of fans. This has become increasingly more difficult with all the new spectator sports that are gaining in popularity. The book is arranged into three sections, each with its own purpose. Reaching the elusive fan. This section introduces the problem that many sports businesses are dealing with today. Connecting to the elusive fan. This part discusses the sports brand and how to transform it to best connect with the fan. And lastly, surviving the sports fan marketplace. The last chapters deal with, this, deal with sustaining these connections with fans as well as showing examples of successful sports branding. When you bring all these sections together, it creates a blueprint of the ideal market plan for sports. And if followed correctly, can make any sports business successful. This book is well written for a number of reasons. It's very easy to read and it uses clever anecdotes and key points to reinforce understanding. The authors reach their goal of informing the reader. They achieve this by, by the clarity in the text and backing up their claims with research. One of the more important points that the author makes is in the first paragraph of the book. In chapter one, it explains that on an October evening in Chicago, there are over 60 professional college and high school events taking place. They make the point there are too many choices for fans to make. The competition is very fierce to keep fans coming to a certain team's games. Also, on page 152, they explain why Louisville Slugger has been successful throughout this transition. By using character development, they have entrenched themselves as a baseball institution. This proves that it is possible to be successful in the sports marketplace. The book utilizes differing tones to make the writing more effective. The informative factual language complemented with the anecdotal style makes a great combination for the reader. For example, the articles have creative titles such as Will Paintball Outro Hockey? or Show Me the Money. These and more are a big reason I kept reading the book. The book introduces many strategies for reinventing the sports marketplace. It suggests that if all the directions are followed, then you will be successful. The authors did a great job covering practically all the necessary information. I don't believe there was anything left out with the exception of maybe giving every professional team a personalized plan for success. Many books on this topic deal with a broad area of sports marketing. The, the elusive fan deals specifically with the fan. This is demonstrated in the first sentence of the book when the author states, sports are in increasing danger of losing their fans. I really like the short articles and the different chapters about the related topics throughout the book. They were always interesting and really helped me understand the concept. Although there is not much I did not like about the book, I can say that I did not, I did not enjoy that some of the chapters seemed repetitive. When reading, sometimes I felt that I had read that part before. In the conclusion of the book, the author says that sports decision makers need to consider the fans first whenever making a change to their brand. I think that that is the best possible statement to conclude this book with. It provides a main concept that is not only accurate, but it is easy for the reader to take away from. I definitely recommend this book to anyone who is even remotely interested in sports.